Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in the town of Valparaiso, Indiana, the town I grew up in. More specifically, I'm in my mom's basement and uh, spending some time with the family. Of course, we had Thanksgiving uh, dinner yesterday. And, you know, while, while, while I was in town, I started looking at some, uh, some old family photos. Recently, I posted my video uh, from Disney World and I kind of spent a video talking about um, my first time at Disney World, the, the, the terror that was involved, how, how traumatic my first experience uh, was at uh, Disney World. A lot of people wanted to, uh, wanted to see pictures, wanted to see what I looked like when I went uh, to Disney World back when I was in, uh, in the first grade. So I started digging through some of these photo albums to find those uh, Disney pictures, found some fun stuff in here, and I just figured I'd uh, share some of these pictures. Maybe give you a little bit of backstory about me as a child growing up, maybe some of the things that led to the creation of this channel, to my current interests. So uh, let's, uh, let's dig in here. Got uh, mom has carefully categorized all these photo albums from over the years, starting back in 1980, the year that I was born. And there, there I am. That's the first picture of me ever taken at uh, St. Joseph's Hospital, born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin there. I don't, I don't feel like this picture looks like me. I don't feel like that baby looks like me, possibly. You know, it could have been switched at birth, but I don't know. We, we tend to change, tend to change over time. And yep, there I am, little baby carpetbagger. Little does he know all the adventures that await him in, uh, in the future. And there's my mom. My mom holding me as a, uh, as a newborn. She's very young, very young in that picture. My mom was, mom was pretty young when I was born. Looks a lot, she looks a lot like my sister does now. There's my dad. I know when we were looking at these pictures, um, my daughter Anna referred to this as a selfie. Then we had to explain to her that people didn't take selfies <laughs> back in 1980 that uh, someone else took this picture. I don't know what happened to this big cool panda bear. That's ginormous. I guess uh, I, I don't remember having this, so I don't know. I don't know where this panda is now. I wish I still had that. Here we are at the beach. Of course, the beach here, not the ocean, but rather Lake Michigan. You can see the rocky shore there. There I am a little bit older and a lot grumpier. Look how grumpy I look in that picture. I, I don't remember, I don't remember what I was so upset about, but look, eh, yikes, look at that. It's me and my mom at, uh, at the zoo. Looking at the elephant there. I don't know what zoo that is. Um, you normally around here we go to the Brookfield or Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago. I'm not sure if that's where that is, but you can see kind of an old school zoo, with the big bars on the uh, on the cage. Luckily, you know we have more natural habitats uh, these days. And there is uh, there's me in front of a rhinoceros. Am I wearing a Dodger shirt? I'm wearing apparently I wear a lot of sports clothes when I was a kid. Now I don't care about sports at all. Apparently I was a big fan when I was a toddler. But uh, if anyone recognizes any of these places, um, please leave a comment. Again, I don't know what zoo this is. I'm wondering if it's the Brookfield Zoo. That would be the most common zoo we went to. But uh, this could be another. I don't know. That's uh, the rhinoceros there. And here we are at some um, amusement park. I'm not 100% sure what amusement park this is. So you guys could maybe help me identify this. I mean, some sort of train there. And of course, always a fan of carousels. <laughs> Apparently the summer of carousels dates back to the uh, to the early 80s. I mean, they're riding the carousel with my mom. There's me again on uh, on the carousel, going round and round. And uh, yeah, this was what I was curious about. So there's Scooby Doo. I'm trying to remember. I'm I was just off the top of my head. I was wondering. I was wondering if this is Kings Island as far as the amusement park goes, or um, if there's another amusement park, I, that maybe it was, that, that was that back then. Again, you know, we lived in Valparaiso, Indiana, so I'm just trying to think of what local amusement parks this could have been. 
Um, I don't know if they had Scooby-Doo at King's Island, but I do they had, um, they had Hanna-Barbera. Is that the same thing though? Is Hanna-Barbera, Scooby-Doo, and Flintstones? Actually, I think it might be. So I'm thinking King's Island, but if someone knows better, like, I don't know, is this, I wonder if the statue of Fred Flintstone still exists somewhere. That's pretty cool. If anyone knows what that is, please do leave a comment in the, in the comment section. I'm, what am I holding there? Some toys. Looks like I got a, a toy lion, maybe, in my hand. Yeah, again, me with Scooby-Doo. And I think, okay, I think the thing I'm holding, I kind of thought it was a lion. I think I actually have, it's a Scooby-Doo toy in my hand. Oh, look at that elephant. Where is this fiberglass elephant? That building back there, I was wondering if that was a ride. That actually says restrooms, but it looks like it's got Shaggy from Scooby-Doo up on top. So where was this, this Scooby-Doo theme park at? I'm really curious. I'm really curious. There's that, that fiberglass elephant. Yeah, if anyone can help me, if anyone maybe a little bit older than me can remember where this was. Again, my guess is King's Island. And you can see, yeah, that's a Scooby-Doo doll uh, or toy there that I'm holding on my head. Got a birthday party here. Open up some presents, but look at that. Look at that amazing uh, Chewbacca cake. It says Chewy right there. Happy birthday, Jacob. And I had the, uh, the Chewbacca cake. I think these are Christmas photos there, my Christmas sweater. It looks like I got the, uh, the Ewok Village. There's my grandpa opening up the Ewok Village for me. Look how excited I am. Yeah, there's me and my grandpa uh, breaking, breaking the pinata. It's a, a, a family tradition we had. I mean, we always break a pinata on Christmas. My, uh, my grandma or my aunt would always uh, create a paper mache pinata leading up, in the weeks leading up to Christmas. It would always be unveiled on Christmas and we'd smash it. So we got the candy inside. Yeah, this is 19, uh, 1983. So there's me getting my photo with Santa. Yeah, apparently I started wearing straw hats already. It's me riding my, uh, riding my horse. Yeah, see, <laughs> the more things change, the more things stay the same. Back in 1983, I was uh, wearing a straw hat, riding on the back of a horse, and still <laughs> hanging out in <laughs> Amusement park wearing a straw hat riding carousel horses and This was my most beloved stuffed animal of all time my little a monkey named uh, Jimmy crack corn one time I was at a uh, my dad had taken me to a baseball game and I accidentally <laughs> dropped We were I guess we were sitting on a higher bleacher and I dropped Jimmy crack corn down into the bleachers below and I had an absolute panic attack, but my dad was actually able to find it. Someone, uh, I guess someone caught it or saw it fell and they were able to get it back to me. But alas, me and Jimmy Crackhorn were, were later separated and never reunited. I would, I would love, uh, you got lost just somewhere along the way. I would love if I could recover him, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen him in, um, you know, in uh, <laughs> almost 40 years. So I'm probably not gonna find him now. That's funny. A lot of a lot of horses, a lot of a lot of rocking horses and toy horses. There's uh, me and my grandma's pool. That's kind of a big deal. Growing up, was my, my grandma had an above ground pool. I'd go there every weekend and uh, and play in the pool. You can see uh, that canoe there. That's my, that's my cousin Doug, who unfortunately uh, is no longer with us. Oh, look at that pretty sweet uh, ET lunchbox there. I remember. E.T., the first movie I ever went and saw in uh, in the theater. No, I don't have that lunchbox. I don't have any of this stuff, any of this cool stuff I had as a kid. It's all gone now. Unfortunately, my mom, uh, you know, my mom doesn't like to like to hang on to material objects. Now, I know you can't see very well in these photos, but uh, that is the Smurfs. The Smurfs on ice. Remember, there used to be, like, travel. Back, back in the 80s, there used to be, like, traveling, like, ice skating shows, and if you look really close, you can make it out. Those are the Smurfs. You can see pa uh, Papa Smurf there in the middle with Lady Smurf, the silhouettes of the Smurfs. Smurfs on ice! Man, I got a lot of cool Christmas presents back in the day. There's my uh, my Viewmaster. 
I still have some Viewmasters in the bunker. Always a huge fan, like the little 3D viewers. I have this little like gremlin type creature here. Remember my dad used to say whenever I picked out toys, I always picked out the ugliest monster they had. Which I still think carries through to this day. I love the, the, the creatures, the greblids, and, and the ghoulies and things like that. You see a little, little monster there. And look at that. Look at that Castle Grayskull. That is truly impressive. Another thing I wish I had that my mom hadn't. I wish, the other thing I wish my mom hadn't have uh, thrown away. I really like that picture me there on top of the slide and then uh, playing on the merry-go-round. I still like to go for a spin on one of these when you can find it. You can see that metal playground equipment. You don't find that as much anymore. Stuff's all plastic and safe now, but uh, yeah, the real fun stuff was the metal stuff. It got, it's a little dangerous, but man, uh, man, we had some fun on that. Yeah, this was... Uh, my favorite type of merry-go-round there. You can see all rusted paint, the metal. You just twirl around on there. Now here's a here's another birthday party, and some of my animatronic uh, viewer fans out there that view these channels, maybe you can help me get some information on this. This was uh, a place called Celebration Station, which was kind of like a um, a Chuck E. Cheese type place. Now there's no pictures in here of the animatronic band, but they used to have an animatronic band. I know this dog here, this big white dog, it's giving me a t-shirt. He, uh, he was uh, kind of like the main, the main mascot there. I think this was in Maryville, Maryville, Indiana. They have the celebration station. Um, I, I think the animatronics are long, long gone, but I would love to. I've never seen like the, uh, the uh, animatronics for celebration station, like in person. And I haven't even seen a lot of like video or, or photos of them so i'd love to know more information if anyone knows more about celebration station look at look at, look at the look on my face as i as i met that dog i wish i, I don't even know his name i wish i knew that dog uh there uh there you go. giving me a hug there and uh yeah, you can see the the waitress there has that celebration station visor on and uh, look at my look at the present there again. Look at I always loved the little monsters. You can see look, 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 get a little four-headed dragon there. <laughs> always loved the monsters. See, I may have actually been pretty spoiled as a child as I'm looking at this. Not only is there the other photos of me getting uh, Castle Grayskull. Apparently, I also for my birthday got Snake Mountain. I remember Snake Mountain had uh, it was like a purple face. It's like the bad guy version of uh, Castle Grayskull. I remember it had a microphone that you could talk through that had made, made, a, made a crazy voice. And uh, yeah, I must have been a huge Masters of the Universe fan, huge He-Man fan, because they're for Halloween. Of course, Halloween happened right after my birthday, born just a couple days before Halloween. There I went as Beast Man, and oh my gosh, I love these old Halloween costumes with the uh, plastic smock and then the, the plastic mask there. And then, of course, it says my name on the uh, on the front. So people, I guess so adults know, can just say, oh, you're Beast Man. Okay, okay. Yeah, there it is with the, uh, with the mask pulled down, the Beast Man costume. Yeah, it looks like I was uh, always happy to, uh, to see Santa. I know some kids always cried when they had to meet Santa. But look how, look how happy I was getting a chance to meet uh, the man. So there's me opening this box, and I don't necessarily remember this by name. This says Fighting Terrans, these little action figures there. Um, I, 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 look, I, I, I Googled it really quick just a second ago because I could not remember what Fighting Terrans were. I do, there's like a three-headed dragon in there that I do remember. But uh, does anyone remember Fighting Terrans? Leave a comment in uh, the comment section. There's me holding... Uh, Holding my little sister when she was born. Time to get back in the pool and see there with my awesome Care Bear water wigs. Now here's a really interesting uh, picture of me. I look super cool in the <laughs> those uh, denim jeans, that uh, jacket. I'm like doing like the Fonz pose. I got sunglasses on, and for some reason, I'm uh, I'm holding. A piece of Indian corn. I'm not sure why I'm so excited about this corn. Man, I sure do have 
a lot of birthdays. <laughs> of course, you know, back then, you know, you, you know, photos were expensive, photos took time, so generally you only took photos, you know, at special occasions, birthdays, Christmas, things like that. Look at this, this is like a McDonald's birthday. You could see the uh, Ronald McDonald there and uh, some discarded buns, discarded burger buns. But I don't remember this. This looks really fun. Apparently they had some sort of teacup ride at McDonald's. Does anyone remember this? I don't remember. I remember like the playground equipment you could climb in. But uh, yeah, this is like a spinning ride. You sit in it and turn the wheel and spin like a teacup from... Uh, from Magic Kingdom, and look, we're all wearing our Ronald McDonald uh, hats there. I'll just take a second to appreciate these vintage McDonald's uh, photos. Back in the old school, old school 1980s McDonald's. There you go, trick or, trick or treating there. Got my awesome Dracula costume. That looks pretty fun. Got the cape. Even got the little uh, Widow's Peak painted on there with my white face. And uh, yeah, I think I got the fangs in. Me posing there as, uh, as Dracula. Yeah, look at that. There I'm getting, getting really into it. I'm getting really into being, uh, being Dracula. <laughs> you can see me and my mom there at the uh, pumpkin patch picking out our pumpkin. For uh, for Halloween, man, I sure I sure did love Santa. There's no denying that this little boy loved Santa Claus. <laughs> Some more 1980s Christmas morning photos. There, it looks like I got a pound puppy of some sort. I love that pound puppy, and a uh, Mr. Potato Head. So I got all the fun 80s toys. All right, I'm at the the dinner table. I don't know why I'm so upset, nor do I know why someone is. Uh, giving me bunny ears. Now that is a pretty solid snowman, if I do, uh, if I do say so myself. It looks like this was maybe a trip to the Brookfield Zoo. Is that, a, is that a rhinoceros there? See, these are, these are less depressing zoo photos than those ones from earlier. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, remember this was a big deal back in the 80s at Brookfield Zoo. They opened up the tropical world where you could actually walk in on the paths that kind of like there was like no real barrier between you and the animals that the gorilla exhibit. And this, this got in the national news when a little boy fell in the gorilla pit and then the uh, gorilla mother actually rescued him. Some 4th of July here, running around with a sparkler in my hand. I'm honestly not sure what ba who, whose baby this is, but that is my beloved My Pet Monster. One of my absolute favorite toys from the 80s. Oh, I wish I still had it. I wish I still had my My Pet Monster. I don't know why this baby's playing with my My Pet Monster. <laughs> You're feeding ducks at the lake. And look at that, that's a, that's a fun piece of playground equipment. A little seesaw there with uh, Yogi Bear's head in the middle. Yeah, my birthday's always followed directly by Halloween in these photo albums. There I am in my uh, my tiger costume. My mom would actually make these costumes. She'd buy the uh, buy the fabric and buy the pattern every year and make make a costume. And then later these costumes would get passed down. The youngest kid would usually wear the uh, the tiger costume over the years. Yeah, look at me as the uh, the vicious tiger there. And some fun memories of me throwing some sort of temper tantrum there. Yikes. I don't know why I'm so upset. That's my little sister on Easter morning. And look at that. I got a, I got this pound puppy puppet in my Easter basket. I do remember that dog. I loved, loved that dog puppet. And look, if you look on the TV in the background, it looks like they're playing the Pac-Man cartoon. You can see one of the ghosts there. There's a cute photo of me and my sister. I think we're in 1987 now. I'm, uh turning the faucet. She's underneath it, drinking the water that's dribbling down. These pictures here, these are from an amusement park still here. It's in Dundee, Illinois, called Santa's Village. See us there, me and my sister riding the car there. Have the little horse and carriage there taking us around the track. There's some sort of ride. Looks like some sort of ride back there. I'm not sure what that is. 
Looks like people riding in Christmas ornaments. Here we're in an old timey car. You can see there's a, a, a sky lift or chair lift there back behind us. Oh man, I need to go back to Santa's uh, village and see if these rides are still here. I did go there a few years ago, but I'd like to, maybe that's something I need to need to check back in to the Santa's village in, uh, in Illinois. Now, I don't know if you can tell in this photo because of the way the lighting is. That right there that you're looking at, that is Orville Redenbacher. Orville Redenbacher, the popcorn <laughs> of popcorn fame here in a parade float. Um, every year, the popcorn parade, the popcorn festival in Valparaiso because uh, Valparaiso is the home of Orville Redenbacher. They do a parade. Uh, my mom's house was on the parade route, so we just came out to our front stoop and could watch the parade from there. You can see uh, Kermit the Frog coming by in the parade. It's a pretty amazing Kermit costume. And there's uh, some more Muppets driving by. Oh, there's me looking at the camera. Looks like it's pumpkin carving time again. It's me and my sister and our uh, our jack-o'-lanterns. Looks like I went with the, the happy jack-o'-lantern and she went with the, uh, the scary jack-o'-lantern. And then for Halloween, I was a, a bat. My mom made both these costumes. I was a bat. And then my sister was a pumpkin patch. So your head is a pumpkin. And then she's wearing like a, a cape covered in pumpkins as well. All right. We are getting ready for our trip to Orlando. We're going to be going to Disney World here. And I remember the, uh, the pilot let me come sit in the cockpit. I don't know if they do this anymore. But I remember both flights we went on, the pilot let me come up, sit in the cockpit. Do they still let kids come up and sit in the cockpit? See my sister there as well. I remember he gave me a little little wings, a little wings, like like a pin, which I guess I don't have anymore. I don't have anything. That I never I, I, I was not good at saving stuff back then, apparently. But yeah, I got to, got to got to go for a little ride in the cockpit. Not while the plane was flying. The plane was sitting on the uh, on the runway. And there we landed in Florida. Looks like we went ahead and went to the beach there. And here's the, here's the Disney photos. This is if you we watched that recent video I did about Haunted Mansion. I was terrified. I was terrified to be here. I was terrified to go to Disney because I was afraid to ride the Haunted Mansion. And uh, I guess we're, I think this looks. I'm trying to see that building in the background. I think this is right on, when you enter, like the Main Street area. And this is this is the old version of Winnie the Pooh, the uh, very strange Pooh. He had a honey pot. His arms didn't move. I see my sister there kissing him on the nose. Although it's distracting too. This kid wearing this uh, bright red McDonald's jumper there. But uh, yeah, I was I was excited. I remember seeing Pooh entering and seeing Winnie the Pooh it was pretty pretty exciting. And uh, oh yeah, there we are. There's my sister and me with our our uh our mickey ears it's got my name on the back i still have those i do still have those in my bunker my, my first mickey ears and there i am in front of the haunted mansion me and my sister were in front of the haunted mansion i mentioned one of the most terrifying moments of my life was when i had to finally step foot in the haunted mansion i'm not sure when this photo was taken if it was taken before i went over there or after i'm still smiling so probably took place before because that like wrecked me Absolutely wrecked me. Yeah, this is in Frontierland. You can still probably take this picture today. It looked fairly similar. And um, there's my sister kissing Goofy. I think this is back, yeah, towards the towards the main entrance. See these characters. Now you have to like wait in a line to meet the characters. Back then, the characters just roamed freely. It was pretty pretty cool. It just Goofy would just walk on by, and you could uh, say hi to Goofy. And then he would just keep walking. There, it's me and my sister with uh, Captain Hook in our uh, in our Mickey ears. Now we only spent one day at Disney. I think this is Sea World here, it's wearing different clothing. So that must be Sea World. The, the Sea World penguins there. Yeah, I can see Shamu there. Back then they called the whale Shamu. They don't use that name anymore ever since the. Uh, the unpleasant incident that occurred. You can see, it looks like it's like a water ski show, maybe? They got a, a pirate boat out in the water. 
This is uh, Cap'n Kid's Fun Ship. I think this is just like a pirate ship you could just crawl on. Like, like a, almost like a piece of playground equipment. Oh yeah, there's more of the, more of the ski show there. Looks like my sister in like a dolphin stroller. Oh, there I am. I think I'm, I'm petting, I mean, I'm petting a, I'm probably petting a ray there in like the pet tank. And I was just here. This is the Blue Springs State Park. We, uh, Went over here recently and saw manatee swimming in the spring. This is where I saw my first wild armadillo. And actually, when I was there recently, I, uh, I also saw an armadillo. We also went to Kennedy Space Center. I think this is the only photo in this album from the, the Space Center there. And then uh, me and my sister with uh, the good old Easter Bunny. Oh, it looks like I caught a delicious bass there. But check out that awesome uh, California Raisins t-shirt. For some reason, I was super fixated on the California Raisins for a brief period of time. I remember uh, going to Hardee's, trying to collect all the little figures. And man, look at this. Every 80s kid's greatest dream come true. Opening a Nintendo Entertainment System while wearing a Roger Rabbit sweatshirt. Look how happy I am. I, my mind is blown. The any, I was so happy. I still remember how happy I was. Yeah, look at that. Look at that grin there. That is the grin of a happy 80s child. <laughs> oh my goodness. And to top things off, then, uh, then we feast. We feast on Alf cake. <laughs> Could I be any more 80s in this photo? Once again, my Halloween costume is on point as I go with a super spooky skeleton this year. My grandma would make these cool ghosts. They were like, it's like a cheesecloth and she drape it over a balloon and it would create like a freestanding ghost. Super cool. And my sister there went as a princess. And I remember this. She, uh, uh, her dad took us out um, trick or treating. And then, um, then she said her feet were cold. It turns out no one could see her feet under that dress and she was actually barefoot. A yearly visit to my favorite person, Mr. Santa. And you know what? I'm looking at these Santa pictures. I think this is the same Santa in every picture. He looks very similar. I think we always went to the uh, South Lake Mall in uh, Maryville to get our Santa photos. Uh-oh, my little brother just showed up. Yeah, it seems like in these, in these photo albums, whenever, whenever a new child <laughs> she shows up, the focus shifts away from the, uh, the remaining two child children. And uh, all, eyes, all eyes on Dan now. And there we are, me and my brother and my sister. Wear my cool Nintendo pajamas. Now, uh, my, my, my family structure is kind of complicated. You know, this is, um, these are my maternal, this is my maternal family's photo albums. Um, I actually have a half sister, a half brother with my mom. I'm the only child that my parents created together. So in addition to this, I have two younger brothers on, uh, on my dad's side. So kind of, I was the oldest in two different families. Here's us riding some sort of tiny carousel. I can't really figure out where we are at. Almost think that might be the mall, but then like maybe it's a museum or the zoo. I'm not sure. We also, yeah, there's also me on a horse. It looks like I'm wearing the same shirt. So somewhere we went where I got to ride a real horse and a carousel horse at the same time. Can't figure out where this is. Maybe it's the zoo because there's pictures of monkeys down here. And then, uh, oh yeah, then me and my sister in, um, in beekeeper's outfits. Yeah, I don't know, is this, must, this must be somewhere at the zoo. Brookfield Zoo is where we normally went. Yeah, here we have a full-sized carousel. I think that's a lion or something. I think we're still at the zoo. Yeah, where are we on this trip? Uh, it's, it's, it's not clear. If anyone recognizes any of these things, let me let me know. Leave a comment. I think this is. I don't know if this is the same carousel or not. There's me and my sister on uh, on giraffes. Now I'm actually wondering. Okay, there's like a hotel room here. I wonder if this is. I think we took a trip to Indianapolis at some point. Maybe that was the Indianapolis Children's Museum, or an India. Maybe the Indianapolis Zoo, or a combination of the two. Yeah, I think we're in 1989. There's my birthday cake. 
don't know if you can see, but that's a, it's got Mario. It's a Mario themed birthday cake. Still uh, really excited about uh, about Eddie S. And for Halloween, looks like I win is Michelangelo of the Ninja Turtles. Now, if you look in this picture, you can see this is the uh, the the uh, the problem with going trick or treating in the Midwest is it's so cold. You can see stuffed under that Ninja Turtles costume is uh, my winter coat. I'm wearing a hoodie. Uh, my sister is wearing the little tiger costume that I, I wore a few years back. She's got her winter coat on underneath. So yeah, it was a it was a tr it was a it was a, uh, a it was a challenge trying to keep your kids warm while they go trick or treating. And look at that! Look what is in my hand. You can see I have a boo bucket. There's the witch boo bucket. Let's see. There we are again. You can see the boo bucket a little clearer in that picture. Now this is the big Christmas play that year and um, I got an important part. I was one of the wise men. I remember it being a really intense. It was like a big, it was a, it was a very serious honor to be a wise man in the uh, church uh, Christmas play. Looks like I'm, you know, we, I remember going multiple practices, you know, gearing up for the big day. You can see I'm a little exhausted with being a wise man in that picture. My sister had it easy because all the younger kids, they just handed out these uh, these sheep hats too. So if you were if you were a certain age, if you're a younger kid, you got to be a sheep. But if you're older, you, you got to take on a more important role, like wise man. Then Christmas morning, there's my sister in her uh, in her new car. There's me diving out of the car because I realized someone was going to take my picture and I didn't want people to know I'd been playing in the toddler car. But it looks like uh, I got a Mega Man 2. Oh, that's a that's in my in my Ninja Turtle pajamas there, which I think is I think that might be recycled from my Halloween costume. My Halloween costume turned into my pajamas, and uh, but yeah, all is good with Mega Man Two. Love that game. I actually remember this trip to the zoo. That baby giraffe in that picture was actually born while we were at the zoo. It was born the day we were the day we were there, and. Uh, Look at that petting a rat there. I always loved rats. I always loved little animals when I was a kid. You can see, you can see how fascinated I am with that rat. Look at my eyes. I'm, I'm really excited to be petting that rat. And um, oh yeah, there I am with the, the big eagle. You can get in there and like flap the wings and be an eagle. Another birthday. Looks like my fixation has moved on to now to Legos. I went through a big Lego phase. And I think everyone, I think I just asked everyone to get me Legos. That's all I cared about back then. And then we on to 1990, and I think this is the last time I ever went trick or treating. Um, I remember I wasn't going to go. I didn't have a costume. Didn't plan on going. Didn't care. I was getting to the age where I didn't think. I thought I might be too old. Then I remember a friend of mine said he wanted to go trick or treating. I told him I didn't have a costume, and my mom helped me uh, whip together this rock star costume here. We started with the inflatable guitar, and my mom dressed me up as a rock star. You can see the. Uh, the bat costume got passed down, uh, passed down to Dan. It looks like Lisa's going as a sunflower. Once again, reprising my role as the third wise man there. Looks like we did the Christmas play for a retirement home. Look at these pictures. Went up to the retirement home and uh, looks super thrilled standing there as, uh, as the third wise man. Looks like we upgraded to crowns this year. And then, yeah, like I guess this year, as much as I loved Santa those previous years, I think the carpet beggar may have outgrown sitting on Santa's lap. Okay, I'm wrong again, because I thought that Rockstar costume was the last um, time I went trick-or-treating, but here I am, dressed as Dick Tracy, <laughs> ready to go trick-or-treating again. Either these are out of order, or, uh, or I'm confused. But uh, yeah, there I am as Dick Tracy, we got my sister as a ladybug, and Dan is wearing the the passed down pumpkin patch costume. There's my first job. Got my job as a paper boy there. I was so excited. I remember my friend Adam got a job as a paper boy, and he told me he made a hundred dollars a month, and I was enamored, enamored by the money, and uh, went and got my own paper route. And man. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. You had, to, you had to do it every day. If you wanted to take off, you couldn't just call in. You had to find a replacement, someone to do the paper out for you, which was often hard. And my, my mom ended up doing it. I would go to my dad's for a week, and my mom would have to do the paper out. And, oh, man, it was, it was a hassle. Quite a hassle for $100 a month. 
And here we are at King's Island in, um, in uh, Mason, Ohio. You can see, uh, that's my sister brother riding a little car there on the track. I took these photos to King's Island and compared, and a lot of this stuff is still there. I think this is, I think the cars might be different, but I think that track is still there. You can see that Eiffel Tower, the icon of, uh, of King's Island. My brother and sister there, some sort of Flintstones helicopter. Also have the Flintstones themed uh, bumper cars there. They don't have the Flintstone theming anymore. That's gone. But uh, these swings are exactly where they are in this picture. You can go and see those swings in the exact same spot at uh, Kings Island. There's uh, me and my sister, some sort of car. See us there with the uh, with the Smurfs, and uh, oh, I love this picture here. This is a, a on-ride photo of the uh, a Enchanted Voyage Dark Ride at Kings Island. See the Smurfs there. Yeah, they're with, this isn't this is not there anymore. They have the I think a blue boot blasters type dark ride now, but back then they had like a boat ride that took you through uh, the Smurfs Village. So much fun. Wish that was uh, still available to ride. Now this is an absolute 100% genuine. First day of school photo for me. This is uh, said uh, 1993. First day of school. Jacob on the back. Oh my gosh, I am. Um, uh, I didn't like school back then. I was having some. I was having some rough times at school. I was uh, with other kids and uh, yeah, a little less cheerful times where I drink. <laughs> We're back at the popcorn parade. Oh, okay. There's a much better picture. Of, uh, of Orville Redenbacher in his float there. See Orville there with the white hair next to his son. It says Orville Pops Magic. Yeah, I'm definitely missing from this trick or treat photo. Got my sister dressed like a witch and then Dan is a shark it appears. Oh, we've graduated to the big time. Now we have the uh, SNES. Okay, here's Celebration Station again. I'm not actually here, but it looks like it's Dan's birthday at uh, Celebration Station. A little dance floor there for the kids. There's Dan with the dog. It's a ball pit. But uh, no one bothered to take a picture of the, uh, of the animatronics. Now that's Gatlinburg. And the funny thing is, I'm not even on this trip. <laughs> I was with my dad at the time. And uh, they, went on a, uh, they went on a trip to uh, Gatlinburg. There's the, uh, the Gatlinburg. That's the Gatlinburg Inn. That's the, uh, the sky lift. Wow. It's my mom and my siblings out in front of the donut fryer. I don't know if I've even seen these pictures before. Another celebration station uh, birthday party. My sister there with the dog. I wish I wasn't just calling the dog. I wish I knew his name. Yeah, that was appearing less and less in these photos, but there I am popping back up with a, uh, with a giant salamander birthday party and you can see from my shirt I'm in my fish phase phase that I was I was super focused on fish as you see the sharks there on my sweatshirt but I got a fitting birthday present with this beautiful 20 gallon fish tank that will become my uh, my hyper fixation <laughs> so yeah I was getting pretty grumpy as a as a teenager and the family went on a trip to Disney and uh, Universal and I just said I didn't want to go. I chose to spend time with my dad instead. Um, yeah, I definitely regret that. Definitely regret not uh, not going to Disney and Universal with with my family. See my brother with blue blue there. Some sort of some sort of Mickey Mouse show. And uh, oh yeah, some sort of. Disney performance there. This is my brother and sister with the Rescue Rangers. It's the Flintstones car. I guess that would have been at Universal. Yeah, because they met Woody Woodpecker. That would that, that would have been at Universal. Is this the uh, this the animal stunt show? You see some animals performing. There they are in the Double Dare fountain. I can't believe I didn't go. I can't believe I refused to go. I was so difficult at that time. Oh yeah, they got to see Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know why I had to be uh, had to be so difficult. Yeah, I don't even. This is okay. That's this is Jurassic, some sort of Jurassic Park show. That's the Hollywood section. They don't have that anymore. The big Hollywood sign in the background. Oh, is this the uh, is this the Triceratops experience? You see the the sick Triceratops behind them there. That looks like they had a great time. See Jaws. Oh, there's the female female Woody Woodpecker. There they are posing. Posing in front of what's that's the Ecto-1 there. You got the big jaws hanging. And uh, my brother even got to have dinner with a pirate. Looks like I did show up every once in a while to hang out with the family. But yeah, definitely going through an awkward phase. Definitely um, just wanted to be left alone most of the time. Oh, this is fun. Looks like uh, my mom, my brother, and sister actually came and visited me in Milwaukee, where my dad lived. This is the Milwaukee Public Museum, my favorite museum growing up. This this is a hollowed grounds to me. There we are. This is a real skulls that you can put your heads through. <laughs> there is uh, there we are posing in front of the glacier, and then this is uh, this is uh, kind of one of the the famous exhibits there, the Native American exhibit. I don't know if my brother and sister should be making that uh, that gesture. That seems a little <laughs> seems a little on PC, but uh, yeah, we are in front of the mammoths there. Okay, so the reason they were visiting me is because I actually lived with my dad that year. I moved to Milwaukee to live with my dad. This is my um, this is my middle school graduation. I actually went to middle school, went through to all all through school in Valparaiso, all through uh, all until the last year. Uh, I guess that would be eighth grade. I went to, to middle school for one year in uh, in the Milwaukee area. This is my uh, graduation. <laughs> Some more photos. I guess another visit to uh, to the Milwaukee Museum. Just me and my brother in front of the the famous T Rex scene, the very violent T Rex scene there. Yeah, I can imagine if they ask me where I want to go, and this is what I say because yeah, that was a very special place to me. This is my uh, my 16th birthday, and it looks like I got a uh, large amount of magic cards. That's back in the Magic the Gathering days. That was my current <laughs> my current fixation is uh, playing Magic the Gathering. So yeah, here's me over the years as a baby. And I'm with my polyester Mickey Mouse jumper. I always love the old photos how they have your head floating in space. Love the you know the, the old photos with the lasers in the background, it was big in the 80s. There, got my glasses. This would be the happiest moment of my life right here. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so happy at that photo. And there you see, as I grow, I become a little more awkward. And there I was as a, uh, I don't know what year that is, but uh, yeah. So that was, uh, that was a large portion of my life right there. That was my childhood, <laughs> my adolescence, and uh, from there, I grow into a man. Um, so yeah, wow, a lot of memories, a lot of you know, a lot of emotions stirred up digging through these uh, these old photos. You can see I had a very, very happy times as a, as a child growing up in the '80s. Had so yeah, we, it was so much fun in the '80s. I wish I wish everyone got a chance to uh, to grow up in the in the '80s. And as you see, it's, it's interesting. Like as you watch, as I go through here, you kind of see, you know. As a happy child, and then you know, as you as you, you turn into a teenager, and you you kind of try to find your own identity through those awkward phases. How I kind of vanish through to the photo albums, only showing up occasionally. You know, but that's just everyone's life, kind of the progression that 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 you go through. You know, kind of finding it yourself is never a straight journey. I'm not saying it's never a straight journey. Some people may find themselves very quickly. I think it took me a little, quite a winding pathway there, but. Uh, 
Thank you guys for uh, for joining me, looking at some of these old photos. Of course, you know, the holidays is definitely a time you know to reflect, to look at, go through old old photo albums and uh, and, and reminisce. But I uh, appreciate you guys so much coming along with me on uh, on this journey, watch it, looking at these old photos, and um, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, guess a couple days we're gonna be headed headed over to uh, to New York to, to, to complete the big move. But uh, thanks for coming along with me on this trip, this uh, side trip to, uh, to visit family. Um, more videos coming very soon. Um, hopefully we do get a chance to do a few fun things in, in the process of moving. But uh, thank you guys for your support and uh, until next time. This one's in the bag.